Welcome back to Triple J Outdoors. We're out here today on the property you've seen me kill that doe on. We're going to come out here and set some coyote traps. I've seen a bunch of them on trail camera during deer season. Now we're going to set some still on the ground see if we can get a few of them out of here. Stay tuned. Proudly partner with Angry Anglers Podcast. Stories from the bass holes. Sponsored by Duke Traps Wildlife Management Equipment. In association with Pure Whitetail, Element Archery, Flying Arrow Archery. And Biggs Time Trapping, Nuisance Animal Control. It's the first location we're going to set a trap on. I call it the lookout point for obvious reasons. They come out of the thicket behind me here. And they come to this point on the road and they can see the whole edge of this field and just look all around and see everything they want to see. Here's the thicket that was behind me. There's four trails right here along this fence that they come out and they all merge right here on this one point. That's why we call it the lookout point here. We're going to set a dirt hole here and see if we can catch a few. We're gonna come in here and punch on a dirt hole set. First thing we wanna do, we'll go ahead and drill out our dirt hole. We got our dirt hole dug there. seen team member Dunlap he uses super sticks. there you got a tug on your anchor get it set and we'll come in here
we've had a bunch of freeze thaw weather here lately. Supposed to have another snowstorm come in tonight and tomorrow. So we'll take our salt and a nice little layer right there. In the bottom and we'll come in with the peat moss. Extra dry peat moss here. Put a little layer. Throw some more salt in. Right there, we got all four corners solid. Now I come in with some more peat moss. movement there I had to fix. Got a little layer of peat moss, had a little bit more salt. Just regular old table salt. Trapper's cap off. A little bit more peat moss around the top here. Salt. Come in with the dirt. Get it blended in here. back here in just a few minutes to get it blended in a little better and then I'll show you the finished product. And we'll come in here and bait our hole here. We got some Murray's Country Mouse from Murray's Lure and Trapping They're right here in West Virginia. Come in with some sheep's wool. Put on the sheep's wool there. Stick it way down in there. Come back with our lure. We're gonna use traditions from Trapping Time TV for lure on this set. Just take your little stick, just about a little bit bigger than a pea, throw it down in the hole. 
take you a little bit. Rub it on the lip of the hole as well. I'm going to blend this set in a little bit better and I'll be back whenever I get finished show you the finished product. There we go, we took some old grass, chopped it up with the scissors as you've seen, got it blended back in. There's the dirt hole set we're putting here. This video is brought to you by Duke Traps, America's best trap value. Duke has over 30 models of animal control devices for all your trapping needs. Check out the full lineup of body grippers for beaver, raccoon, muskrat, and more. Duke now offers the 550 and a larger 650 coil spring trap, as well as their newly developed number two dogless trap. Get more info at duketraps.com. Right here we got a different setup. I don't know if it's picking up on camera or not. You may be able to see it. Along this fence there's a bunch of hair where they've been coming in and out of the fence. There's a very defined path right here. All right, as you see here, they come through the fence. Got these two little briar stalks and make a natural funnel to make them walk through this path right here. And the set I'm gonna use on this one, I'm kind of gonna modify a couple sets together. It's gonna be I'm gonna take a compass set, a walkthrough set, and a blind set, and I'm gonna merge them all together. And I've never seen that before, so we're gonna name this the Triple J set. So I'll get everything ready, set up. I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, just like before, I've already got my trap bed dug, got the anchor set. Come in, some peat moss in the bottom of the bed. Come in with our salt. Check all four corners. <clears throat> Make sure that it's rock solid. Come back in here with the trapper's cap. Put in some more peat moss. Make sure to pack it as you go. Now this ground I'm working with on this side is wet. We'll go find me some dry dirt. We may have mentioned it in the video before, but if not, I'll mention it again. If you have any cedar trees in your area or pine trees with low limbs on them, usually under those limbs you're going to find some dry dirt. It's a good little trick to keep in your back pocket. 
I'll be back with you. Okay, now comes the compass part of the set. We'll take our driver on four corners of the trap. We'll drive us holes. I'm going to put one right here dead center to make them stop. Okay. We'll come in here. Autumn addition by Sawmill Creek. Put that in one of our holes. in there and on this side we're gonna come in with Caven's violator 7 In the front two holes, I'm going to use some bait. I'll run some Capital Punishment in one hole, some Murray's Country Mouse in the other hole, and then I'll blend it in just a little bit more. <laughs> 